Okay, today I am going to show you the ATS card replacement on a standard RDT Kohler residential switch. As you know, if you have a switch like this, you have an LED membrane that looks just like this with two buttons. Test button, exercise button. If you have had one of these ATSs installed, you may or may not have seen over the years where the generator starts to not perform its weekly test. The reason being is I have another ATS open over here for you. This ATS control card right here is what controls the generator test. If you look back in here, that capacitor right there is what controls the clock for that board. This board right here I took out of that ATS to my left. I've already replaced it with a new one. But this capacitor is what goes bad. When you take these out, you can actually send them to be rebuilt and reused if you so choose to. Or what we do is we purchase a new board made from the company that does the rebuilds. You can see that this capacitor here is much larger than the other capacitor. If you put them side by side, you can, well, you can't see it as clearly on here, but this capacitor on the right and this board on the right is a uh, much better designed board. You can see the color of the board. You can't feel it, but the actual texture of the board is a potted board. It's used um, in the same applications as the standard RDT board. If you were to feel it, it's a rubberized coating, it's potted, it's a much more substantial board made from um, automotive components that are more vibration resistant and don't, um, don't fail. So what we're going to do today is we're going to replace this board, being very careful because this ATS is live. These buses right here, yes, they do have electricity running through them. So you have to be very careful. I would not recommend you do this at home unless you're a qualified electrician. The first thing you need to do is undo this ribbon cable, which connects this membrane to the board. You can't see it, but when I pull it out, I will show it to you. There is a clip on the membrane. You got to be very careful not to break the membrane. But this ribbon cable has a standard clip where you press this little lever here, releases it from the board, and you can pull it out. The second thing you want to do, and I'm going to make sure that the generator is turned off so it doesn't start. is you want to unplug that white harness. Again, being very, very careful to not get shocked in the process. So you reach in here, and it also has a clip right here on top. You depress that, and you pull that out. Now we installed these ATSs a few years ago. We left plenty of room on the start wires so that we could pull this board out with having to undo everything. So these start wires we'll leave on for now. You come in here and you pull these off. There's five little stud mounts that mount this board to it. You pull it loose, pull it out, and now you have it out here where you can work on it. Unfortunately, I only have two hands, so I'm gonna to have to try to show you this without dropping it. This little keeper here pulls out as well. Pull that loose. It's a six pin connector that just pulls straight out. Lay it aside, grab your new board, and again, forgive the video, but you plug it back in, and now you have the new board with the pins connected for the start circuit. Now you put it back in the exact same way you took it out, being very careful again 
electricity will kill you. Put this in, making sure that these holes align. And you hear it click in. There's five of them, one in each corner and one in the middle. And they are all in. Plug in your white control harness again. And I will show you that once I get my hand out of the way. Okay, see, that control harness is now plugged back in. And lastly, you take this little ribbon cable again, making sure you align the, the key, push it in the back, and once you see it come on, you'll hear a click. And now you have a brand new ATS board ready to be set. What we're going to do is now press these buttons on both ATSs. Can't do them at the exact same time because it's a little far away. I'm going to turn the generators back on. <clears throat> Put them in auto. And then we will press this button and hold it for six seconds, which will then initiate a weekly exercise loaded, meaning that the transfer switch will switch and the home will be running on generator power. I am not going to push that right now because I have a little work to do. Um, but once you push that button, the exercise is set and your problem goes away. Again, you're looking at these boards this capacitor is what goes bad and takes out the weekly time exercise on these generators this board is the same board no matter what size switch you have as an ATS whether it be 100 200 400 uh, even some 600s of the RDT model 